cat cupcakes. Huh? What? Who's there? All good. I'm fine. Breaking bakery news. New updates. Bakery Town is seeing an uptick in vicious rat attacks on citizens. Come on. Load them up. There seems to be no end in sight. Can you tell us what happened to you? Last night, a giant evil rat came out of nowhere and ate all my hair, and now it's gone. And I had just gotten it done at the bread barbershop, too. It's the rats! Everybody now getting word that the rats are downtown. Everyone should remain at home and show extreme caution. <laughs> uh, look, rats! <laughs> Sir, it seems the rats are attacking all over. Oh, so scary. Why does it have to be rats? Come look. <gasps> They're even right outside of our store. <laughs> I thought what we had was special. I'm just looking for a different pastry. Uh, <laughs> after all we've been through, I ought to rip him a new filling hole. Your Majesty, uh -huh. an emergency. You scared me. How dare you barge in here when I'm watching cakes of our lives? There's no time for TV right now. Bakery Town is under attack by giant hungry rats. No. You sure? <laughs> <gasps> Down, Down with the queen! Down with the queen! What? Are you doing anything to protect us from these attacks? You don't even care about us! We all pay our taxes! Do something now! This is bad news. Everyone, listen up! Let's go in and give them a piece of our mind! That's right! But there Let's go. nothing! Yeah! <laughs> Look what they've done to me, your majesty! Those rodents ruined it! They'll attack at any time! Now we're all afraid to go out! <laughs> I'm too afraid to send them to school. I haven't slept in days. <laughs> you three better come up with a plan to fix this mess, or you're all going in the dungeon! <laughs> How's this? We could put bells around the necks of the rats. Huh? What for? Yeah, when they come, people will hear the bells and then they'll have enough time to get away. That's good! You know your stuff! You should get a raise for coming up with that plan. <laughs> Thank you. However, how do we get the bells on the rat's necks? <laughs> Since this is your idea, you can put the bells on. Figure it out! I, I should. <laughs> but your majesty, no, please! <laughs> <laughs> now that the problem's as good as solved, I declare everybody safe again! <laughs> But the problem was not as good as solved, and that cupcake was never heard from again. Should have known he would have had a problem doing so simple and easy a task. Why the frosting isn't he back yet? In all likelihood, he's been attacked by the rats. Oh, any other bright ideas? Uh, oh, Your Majesty, I've heard that rats do fear a certain animal. Is that right? Do tell me more about it. Yes, they're a type of predator called a cat. In the bakery ecosystem, they're at the top of the food chain. They eat rats. If the citizens of Bakery Town had some cats on hand, surely they'd be enough to keep the rats at bay. Wow, that's a super good idea! Mm -hmm. I've always wanted to have a little cat as a pet. Okay, I do like this plan. But wait, who will bring the cats here? Uh. Uh. I know. Since it's your great idea, you're the king <gasps> for the job. M me? But I don't have any experience with ferocious animals, Your Majesty. Eh, uh, you'll figure it out. Hey, guards, escort this cat wrangler to the gates. Yep. <laughs> mercy! Mercy! Strangely, this cupcake was also never heard from again. What is happening here? One was supposed to put bells on the rats, but that didn't work. And now we still don't have any cats. We need a new plan. You better come up with some brilliant plan to save the town, or you're going straight to the dungeon. 
I... <laughs> this is all because of bread! Uh -huh. Me? He's the one who makes all our citizens so appetizing. Of course rats are gonna attack us. How on earth are the rats my fault? Oh yeah, I guess that is true. Hey guards, I'll spread into the dungeon right now. Yep, being good at my job isn't something to apologize for. Help me, help me. Mm. Ah, your majesty, there's one more thing we can try. You have an idea? <laughs> if we can't bring the cats into town, we can just make the cats ourselves. Make some cats? Yes. With my styling skills, I can make everybody in town look like cats. Once we do that, the rats will be too scared to attack. Oh, wow, that's creative. Fred's the best, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, what huh? a clever plan. Hang on, Ooh. how do we find out what cats even look like? Well, that's easy, look. All you do is search for cats online. They basically oh. run the internet. Look, there's a lot. <laughs> a truly horrifying creature. <laughs> I have never seen something so scary. They're truly bred to kill. <laughs> yeah, look at their pointy ears and those claws. Why do they look so indifferent, too? All right, give Bread what he needs. We're going to make <laughs> the whole town look like cats. On it. <laughs> and so <laughs> Master Bread began his mission of turning everyone in town into ferocious felines. First, some whipped cream to make the terrifying ear shape on top some chocolate syrup to create their soulless, cruel expression, and some whiskers worthy of a true predator. <clears throat> Vicious red cheeks, a warning of their hunting skills, and we're done. <gasps> I'm afraid I've outdone myself. <gasps> Word, a petrifying sight to behold. It's more scary than the pictures. There's no way this won't frighten those rats. But wait, mm -hmm. to fool the rats, won't we all have to act like cats? Ah, I can help with that, too. I saw a video once. Cats make this kind of sound. Meow! Meow! Me meow? Uh, no, make it scary. Meow! Mm -hmm. Meow! Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Great! Red will get to work making everyone cats now. You, Wilk, will teach everyone in town the ways of the cat. Yes! yes. What you do, Papa? Meow! 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 Rodents don't want a piece of us now. Thanks to your realistic and scary decorations, boss. Everyone, prepare to act like cats. Let's scare some rats away! Meow! 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 I think it's working. Huh? Look, they're scared. Okay, huh? we'll give it all we've got! Oh, yeah. Meow! Meow! Meow. Meow! 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 Too much cute. Hey, wait, why are all the rats falling down? Surely you were so scary, we scared all the rats to death! <laughs> Some decorating skills really scared those rats. Hmm. He saved the whole town. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go chase all those huh? other rodents out of here. Yeah. 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 The rats collapsed one after another, overwhelmed by the adorable pastries. Victory! Yeah. And Master Bread became the hero of Bakery Town. Big Boy Wilk. Wilk! Put these in storage now. Yes, Master Bread. And don't forget to throw out the trash, too. Got it. Did you make the whipped cream yet? Hurry up with that tea. Fix this clogged toilet again. Why are my ingredients not ready yet? Get them now. Huh? Hmm. Something's up. Wilk hmm? seems happier than usual today. Ah, uh, so he didn't tell hmm? you? Today, Wilk's parents are coming into town. He hasn't seen them in a year. 
Wilk's parents? Huh? Huh? <laughs> Hello? Hi there. Could this be Bread Barbershop? Uh, yes, it wow, is. so nice. <laughs> Mom, Dad! Oh, Wilk. I missed you. Oh, it's been so long. How's my boy? Just a sec. Let me introduce uh. you to my awesome co-workers. That's Master Bread. Uh. He's my boss. Oh. And my co-worker, Choco. Wilk said so many good things about his time working here. Our Wilk looks up to you so much, you know. <laughs> oh, you're too kind. <laughs> And you have a lovely establishment here. <laughs> oh, my little baby boy, you're so hard, don't uh, you? Baby! No, Mommy, I'm not a baby. I'm a big boy. Big boy! Sweetie, can you give Mommy one smoochy kiss before we go? Of course. Smooch! Are you hungry for dinner, my baby baby? How about we get barbecue tonight? <laughs> really? I want it, I want it! Well, we'd like to take our little boy out for dinner, if that's all right with you. Oh, for sure. I'm have a nice time. Thanks a lot, boss. <laughs> Let's go. Does my special little boy want barbecue or chicken? Barbecue! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you want, sweet pea. Uh, now I get why he acts like such a kid at work. No kidding. Yum. There you are. <sighs> it looks yummy. Not yet. Let me cut off the burned parts first. But Daddy, they're the yummiest. Nothing yummy about cancer. Say, ah. Uh. Uh. <laughs> mmm, tasty. <laughs> Have some kimchi, sweetie pie. I'll just wash off all the spicy wicey for you first. No, Mom. Oh? I can totally eat spicy food now. What? My baby eats spicy mm -hmm. food? Watch me eat this kimchi, no problem at all. <sighs> Wow! You are a big boy now. <laughs> Good job. That's my boy. <laughs> Donut Ranger continues. Yay! <laughs> Wilkie, okay, time to turn off the TV and get some sleep, Kay. Oh, Mom, not yet. But sleeping oh. is healthy. Instead, uh, how about some story time? Whoa, my old favorite book, The Adventures of Little Milk. <laughs> Once upon a time, many expiration dates ago, there was a brave little boy. Good morning, Choco and Master Bread. Hey, so huh? did you have a good time with your parents yesterday? Yeah, we had a great time eating mm -hmm. barbecue. My dad cut all the burned parts off of my food, and my mom cut the kimchi up for me. And when we got back home, my mom even read me my favorite uh, bedtime story. Ha! Wilk, <laughs> your mom and dad still feed you when you go out to eat? I guess cutting your own kimchi is still pretty hard. <laughs> well, isn't everyone like that? No way! I'm pretty sure even preschool kids eat by themselves. Mm -hmm. Also, your mom reads you bedtime stories? <laughs> Don't you know how to read? He's a little <laughs> baby! Yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, no, I am not! Oh, no, we don't baby Dipper. Oh, wait, no, he's a big boy. Widow <laughs> uh, guy, just go where we please. Huh? Wait, there's a kid here? <laughs> Not quite. Wilk is actually over 20 years old. But his parents still feed him his food and tuck him in at night with bedtime <laughs> stories. <laughs> That's so funny. That's not all. His mom doesn't let him eat spicy food, so she washes it off first. Oh, too spicy for Widow Baby. I know, right? Wilk, I'm here. Hey, kid. We're not calling Wilk by his name anymore. Now he's Baby Boy. Baby Boy? Yeah, just listen to this. His parents cut up his food and give him what? bedtime smoothies tonight. I thought you were older than me, but you're still a baby, aren't you? I am not a baby! Oh, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. He's a big boy now. <laughs> Big boys, that is so funny! <laughs> <laughs> I'll prove to you all that I'm a grown up! <laughs> Sweetie, your mommy's here. Master Brett, could we borrow our son for a few hours? Because we thought it'd be fun to bring him to an amusement park. Oh, sure. Have a great time. I'm not going! Those places are for when you're little, not when you're grown. I'm gonna go listen to a philosophy lecture. What? A lecture? What's curdling him? Oh. Wilk! <sighs> Yesterday you said you wanted to go to the amusement park. What's this about philosophy lectures? Mom, Dad, I'm an adult now. No more kid stuff. <gasps> Instead of playing around, I need to work on my self-improvement so I can become a productive member of society. 
Uh, it's too bad we already bought the all-day passes then. Since Wilk doesn't want to go, we can give the tickets to Master Bread and Choco yeah, instead. That's what? probably best. That'd be awesome. Wait! Not so fast. All right, I'll go. It's financially unwise to let them go to waste. We'll just go for a short while. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We made it! I want to do the merry-go-round and then the bumper cars. Okay. What first, love? <clears throat> I remember you love the merry-go-round. And don't forget the bumper cars. Uh, let's go. <gasps> Recommended for ages seven and under. If I write that, they'll call me a baby for sure. Hmm, that ride is for kids, not grown-ups. We should find a ride that's bigger. Huh? I... I want to ride that one! Uh, you want to go on that ride? You sure you can handle a roller coaster? Well, why not? I've done lots of stuff scarier than a dumb roller coaster. Let's just go. <sighs> So awesome! Let's go do it again! <laughs> you all right, sweetie? I knew the coaster would be a bit too much. How about the merry-go-round instead? No! Oh no, is your tum-tum hurting? Should we get you a drink? We could use some water. I'm totally fine, you guys. But if you need some, let's go. <sighs> oh! Don't arrange your melon juice! <gasps> oh. <laughs> you really like this flavor of juice bottle, right? Uh, <clears throat> I'm good, no thanks. Yeah, only little kids drink juice. One copy to go, please. And an extra shot of espresso. <gasps> Whoa, he drinks coffee now, too? It's too bitter, Welk. The bitterness of black coffee is what makes it all worthwhile. So bitter like life. Well, I knew that coffee'd be too much for you, son. Let's just get the donut ranger juice, okay? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm not a baby! <gasps> because you two treat me like I'm a little baby, I'm mocked by my boss and my co-worker, and even Cheese started teasing me! Now I'm a proper adult with a real job. And if you don't want to treat me like that, then just go home! <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just been so long since we've seen you last. We didn't realize how much you've grown. Okay, we'll be going. That's right. See you next time. Uh, was I too harsh? I wanted to spend more time with him while they were both in town. We could have seen the Donut Ranger movie together. Maybe go to the toy store? Or go to an arcade together? Uh, shouldn't have tried to be grown up. It's no fun. I miss my mom and dad. <laughs> Wilkie? Huh? Mom? Dad? <clears throat> Good to see you two this evening. We stuck around because we didn't want to leave our son just yet. Huh. You just want to treat me like a baby, don't you? <gasps> huh? It doesn't matter if you drink black coffee or juice. That's not what makes you a grown-up. Yes, we know you're already grown. You have a job where you work hard. You help others in need. And you're responsible and independent in your own way. Your mom and I are so proud of the man you've become. You're such a mature and grown-up milk now. <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, uh, I didn't like acting grown up. It was no fun. There, there. You can always act like a little kid around your mom and dad. No matter how old you get, you'll always be our baby boy. How about we go see a movie tomorrow? Yay! Or go to an arcade. Yeah. And a toy store? You bet, sweetie. <laughs> 20 years prior. <laughs> Oh no, he has a typo on his head. It says Welk instead of milk. What are we going to do? It'll be fine, dear. This just means he's a special kid. But what if other kids tease him for how he looks? What if he doesn't make any friends? Well then, I guess we'll have to become his friends. Our special little guy, Welk. <laughs> Chocolate Wall Okay, ready? Mm hmm Fastball! Great! Why'd you hit it over the wall, huh? Now we'll never get 
our ball back. And it's all your fault! My bad. So, guys, what is this wall anyway? I know what's on the other side. My dad told me. A bunch of huge, scary giants! He said the town built this wall to keep them from devouring us. Really? No way. I saw a video online that said there's a place called the Ice Kingdom over there. And if you climb over the wall, you freeze in seconds flat. <laughs> I'm freezing already. Ah, big deal. Let's go play soccer, dudes. All right. <laughs> <sighs> I'm home. Hey, son. Just in time for dinner. Mom, you know that giant wall? Why did the town build it anyway? The wall? Why do you want to know? My friends say scary giants are on the other side. Or kingdom made of ice. Stop with your nonsense. Now sit down. Your dinner's getting cold. Then go and do your homework. Mm, okay. Oh. I wonder what really is over there. Sweetheart. Uh, uh, Hi, Grandma. I know you're working hard, so I brought a snack for you. <laughs> Thank you, Grandma. <laughs> Grandma, do you know what's behind that great big wall? I sure do. In fact, many years ago, I lived on the other side. Really? Hmm, yes. Back then, dark chocolates and white chocolates all lived happily together. Mm -hmm. Do you both promise to love, honor, and cherish one another today and forevermore? Yes. yes. Then I now pronounce you married. <gasps> What's oh. happening? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sweetheart! <laughs> Say ah. <laughs> 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 the last time I ever saw him. What? No! <sighs> well, all that's behind us now. Although I must say, I do wish I could see him just once more before I die. <sighs> <gasps> Grandma, huh? we've got to get rid of the wall. Then you'd be able to see Grandpa, right? Yes, I suppose so. <clears throat> then I'll get rid of that wall for you! You are? Mm-hmm. I have to. People are unhappy. Shouldn't they be able to see the ones they love? Do you really think you can? How wonderful. You're such a good boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take you down for good! <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Are you trying to break through that wall? Yeah. But why? <laughs> you don't want to be a giant's lunch, do ya? You're wrong! There are no giants over there! My grandma told me the story. There are chocolates like us living on the other side. What? Even my grandpa lives over there. This wall keeps him from seeing grandma. Whoa. Really? Then we're gonna help you knock this thing down, buddy! Mm -hmm. Really? Mm -hmm. These pickaxes aren't working at all. Why did they have to make it so impenetrable? Now what? Ugh, I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, I'm thoroughly exhausted. Mm. Hmm? Whoa! Hang on, guys! Mm. Look at this! Bread the Genius Barber? I think I saw him on TV. Yeah, maybe we could ask him for help. <laughs> Morning! Um, this letter came hmm? for you. What? For me? Oh, it's from Chocolate Town, eh? Would you help us knock down this wall? I'm far too busy for such nonsense. What do I care about some silly wall? It's from Chocolate Town? Whoa, can we go? I hear good chocolate's mm. super pricey these days, boss. Maybe you can get some freebies out of it. What? <laughs> we might get free chocolates if we go? Wilk, get us packed! Sir! <laughs> Are you still trying to break through? 
It's never gonna work. Mm -hmm. It's got to. I promised my grandma she could see Grandpa one more time. Huh? Whoa! Guys, look at that plane! That's Master Brett up there! What? You seriously think that guy would come here? Yeah, and besides that, we don't have an airport. Ah! Huh? I'm falling! Somebody! Ah! <laughs> it's him! <laughs> These chocolates oh, better be top notch. Completely blinded. Oh. oh yes. So this is the wall you meant. Yeah. We tried to use pickaxes, but we couldn't break mm -hmm. through. It's kind of sturdy, mm -hmm. sir. Mm. About five centimeters sturdy, I'd say. I'm afraid knocking it down ourselves would be impossible. You see, we told you it was a bad idea. Even Master Brett says it's too hard. Wait, there might be a way. Huh? If we can't break through, we'll make it disappear. Disappear, sir? I just might have a plan. Now gather all the town folks right away. Mm. Mm. What's this meeting What's this about? about? They just said to meet here. Attention! Huh? I came to Chocolate Town to help my friend here. My name is mm -hmm. Brett, and I'm a famous barber. That's the dude from all those posters in town. Yeah, but what is he doing here? Hey, that's my little boy huh? over there. I know this wall separates many of you from your friends and family. Now, do you want to knock down this wall and see the folks you love? Of course we do. Uh, well, sure. But how can we knock down a wall that big? My friend, I will show you how. We'll use these. Here you go. This? I don't know. How can a paintbrush help? I'll tell you. Paint your wishes on the wall right here like graffiti and watch it crumble down. Will it really? I don't see how. Trust me, my friends. Now write your hearts out. We'll do it together, Grandma. If you say so. Mom, come on. Oh. Just think, Dad. Wouldn't it be great to see Grandpa again? Well, I guess it couldn't hurt. I mean, what have we got to lose? Come on, <laughs> write it all out, folks. Tell me, my dear, do you really think this will work? Yeah. Hmm, <laughs> 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 mm, this might do the trick. Hey, Mr. Mm -hmm. Red, is the wall gonna fall down soon? We wrote on the wall uh, like you told us. Don't worry, it'll happen any moment now. Nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, showtime! Uh, my shoulder. All this meeting's got it harder than a rolling pin. Uh, how this divider gets so dirty? I guess I'll have to replace it. Uh -huh. What's going on? Earthquake! Uh -huh. It's lifting into the air! Look! Uh -huh. It's going Master up! Master Brett was right! Oh, oh, oh. There are white chocolates in there. I never ever thought I'd see the day. Percy, my boy! My Dad. darling! Uh, uh, Rosé, my dear! Diva! Oh, oh, Leon, I can't believe it! It's, so it's been so long! I've missed you! <laughs> Where could he be? My love! <gasps> can it be? Darling, I've missed you so much. I've missed you, my dear. <laughs> wow, sir. Those chocolates have never been happier. I'm so glad we could help them be together. Me too. This will look much neater. <laughs> Dark chocolates and white chocolates all mixed together in one box. Looks much prettier that way. Perhaps I'll just leave it like that, then. <laughs> 